Have it right up the shelves, up the minerals FC. Big up to every single one of you live. Have a glorious day, bruv. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. Big up to everyone, man. Brown Envelope Matrix is it trying to take us down. Well, let's have it right. Big up to everyone. If the, if it's if the signal is weak, guys, then let me know. If the if if it's if it's poor, then I'll have to reschedule. Do you know what I mean? Because where I am and that, uh, we're on Johnny's Island, bruv, at the minute, as you can see, bruv. Um, but let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see what's happening here. Let's see what's happening here, bruv. Let me know in the chat if it's all right, bruv. If it's all good, we'll land the minerals. If it's not, then I'll I'll I'll, I'll reschedule. Do you know what I mean? All right, perfect. Big up the stretchers, bruv. Big up everyone in here. Shout out to everyone in here. Hit the like button. Up the chels. Up the minerals FC. Let's have it right. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do. And uh, hit the notification button. We've got the minerals FC Ultras membership, which is down below in the description. Big up to everyone in here, bruv. Big up to everyone in here. Do you know what I mean? We're landing. We're smoking the fucking Ted Lasso Bowley pack. We're smoking the Siri Merchant pack. We're smoking Clear Lake pack. We're smoking the fucking Seagull Merchant pack. We're smoking all the Wrongans pack. We're, we're smoking every pack that you can imagine, bruv. Oh, especially the Brown Envelope pack. We're smoking that. So let's all smoke that together. Up the Chels, up the Minnows FC. Oh, it tastes fantastic. I'll tell you that now, bro. Big up the cursor, bro. Big up the cursor. And as always, guys, as always, we know the deal, bro. We know the deal, yeah? Everyone, big up to everyone in here. I hope you can all hear me clearly, bro. This is not the normal one, bro. But we see things they'll never see. Shout out to Chelsea Old Boys. Rest in peace, my geezer. Chelsea Ultra, Minnows FC Ultra. Let's have it right, bro. Let's have it right. So, it is what it is, bro. Yeah? Let's have a... Let's, let's, let's land it, shall we? So... Finally, one win. One win. We got a win, yeah, after a poor, poor fucking season so far. Let's have it right. Um, but let's have it right. What a poor, poor fucking game. I mean, it was so, so lucky. We scraped it in the first half. Let's have it right. Brighton should have been 2 0 up. Sanchez with a blunder of a mistake. And then you got uh, Casado as well. He made a mistake. And like, it is what it is, bruv. We, we should have been 2 0 down, bruv. Yeah. Um, and Sanchez got us out of the second one and redeemed himself. But my, 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 listen, like in the words of Pulp Fiction and uh, Mr. Wolf, let's, uh, no, 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 let's not quite suck each other's dicks just yet. Do you know what I mean? It's one win, it's a cup win. And this is the thing for me, my my interest is about the Premier League. Is that it, We need consistency in the Premier League. If you don't have it in the Premier League, then forget it. Forget it. We, we That is the priority. Carabao Cup is not a priority. I expect to win it. I expect to go all the way and do it. But the, the reality is, it's not going to happen. Do you know what I mean? Um, we've got a decent draw, fair play. Um, but I didn't really speak about the game. Like I saw the game. I didn't do a stream. As you know, I'm not where I normally am. Um, and uh, I, I, had to, um, I had to sort of delay the stream. But the bottom line is this. Um, 
we were very fortunate to score. We were very fortunate to win that game. And um, everyone is getting excited. Everyone is bigging up fucking Brillo Pad Cucurella playing on the right side. Well, he got absolutely done by uh, Brighton's fella. Uh, what's his name? on Mimota or whatever his name is on the left-hand side. He got done in the first half. Um, when he came off, I thought the Seagull Merchants struggled a little bit. They didn't really have... They didn't really have the minerals to, to kick over the line. But let's have it right. We beat their B team stroke C team. Majority of those players, we didn't even know, bruv. We didn't even know half of these players. Um, and we're playing a very strong side. Um, obviously, we didn't have Enzo and all this jazz, but we, we didn't have Sterling. Uh, we don't have a lot of players that are down to injury anyway, but we didn't have Thiago Silva. But it is what it is, bruv. We, 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 we should be easily beating Brighton. Now, I'll tell you this, yeah. Our identity... Our style of play is a long way from Starbucks, bruv. Brighton, every time they got the ball, they knew exactly where to play the ball. They knew they knew exactly where to be. They Everyone had their way of playing, even though it was a B team or C team. That's the difference. And that's how far behind we are as a club. And uh, Pochettino, Gaffer's got to sort it out, bruv. He's got to sort it out. If he doesn't sort it out, we're in big, big trouble. Uh, because... Fulham is the next game, and then we got um, we got all the games after that, which in October is is going to be a disaster, bruv. It's going to be shocking, bruv. Um, so the bottom line is this: um, yeah, great for the win. It's a it's a, a little confidence booster, but let's not get carried away. It's a cup game. Um, the performance for me, I thought everyone was very very poor. If I'm being real, I thought Jackson was poor, though the goal was good. I thought Cole Palmer was inconsistent, but he looked decent, bruv. Um, but apart from that, that was it, bruv. You know, it wasn't really, it wasn't really the kind of uh, performance that I thought, bruv. Yeah, it really wasn't. It really wasn't that kind of performance, bruv. Um, so here we are sitting here, one nil against um, the Seagull Merchants, and it's just poor, bruv. We've got some scenic people in the back, bruv. It is what it is, bruv. Um, but yeah, we move, we move. Hold on a minute, bruv. Hold on a minute, the fella's caught a big fish. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Can everyone see it? Let's have a look. Can everyone see it? Where is it, bruv? What is that? Rabbit fish. Rabbit fish, bruv. Look at the size of that thing. It's a poison look, fish. Poisonous fish. Yes, poison. Look at this. we got poisonous fish coming to uh, attack the Minnows FC, bruv. Poisonous fish to attack the minerals FC. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Fucking. This is madness, bruv. This is madness, bruv. Yeah. Fucking hell, bruv. Minerals fishermen, bruv. What are we doing here, bruv? What are we doing here? That's a big catch, bruv. But they're poisonous, bruv. They're poisonous, mate. Yeah. Something right. Unexpected minerals landing, as always, bruv. <laughs> Listen, um, we need to feed that to the owners, bruv. We need to feed that one to the owners and get them taken out of the game, bruv, and get them out of the club, man, because he's like a kill Chelsea football club. And let's have it right. Siri Merchant, yeah? Siri Merchant going in the dressing room again, yeah? Again! Every game they go in the dressing room. What's your deal, bruv? Yeah? You don't need to go in the dressing room, yeah? Don't need to. You're killing it, bruv. You're absolutely killing us. It's a disgrace. We don't need this shit. Do you understand me? We don't need this shit, all right? And this is what's happening at Chelsea. We got these guys. I told everyone, yeah, last season, they were going in that dressing room. They were dictating the team lineup since the Newcastle game, which is before the World Cup. And you lot fucking laughed at me, bruv. You lot laughed at me, bruv. Yeah, let's have it right. Well, here we are, and they're going in that dressing room. And you've got fucking melts in the fan base justifying that they, 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 should go in the, they should go in the dressing room. It's undermining the gaffer. Pochettino's a fucking... He's just, he's just weak, bruv, to allow this relentlessly. And then you post out today, Steve Sidwell, a guy who's not even fucking a, a good player for Chelsea, hardly played, he was under Jose Mourinho. You think Jose Mourinho accepted Roman going in that dressing room every game? Shut up. Brown envelope lies to suit the, the narrative for these clown owners to make it seem like it's all right as a culture for these guys to go in that dressing room. Let's land it for what it really is, because that's the facts of the matter is that they should not be going out of dressing room. The culture has killed the players, it's killed the gaffer, it's killed the club, and it's all this baseball fucking USA 
uh, culture, money ball, baseball model, bringing it to Chelsea Football Club. Sid, well, you're being bought, mate. It is what it is, bruv. He needs to get paid. And this is the thing. Why hasn't John Terry come out? Why hasn't Didier Drogba come out? When Didier Drogba comes out and says, I don't recognise my club no more. Let's have it fucking right. What about John Terry who comes out and says there's another side to the Mason Mount story? Uh, but uh, I'm not going to release that on this show, yeah? Well, there's reasons. They say it for what it really is. Steve Sidwell, what the fuck, bruv? You're talking nonsense, man. You're talking nonsense. And everyone knows it, bruv. Right? They put these, these fucking articles out, yeah, so that they can set narratives against, against everyone that is thinking like us on the Minnows FC and other supporters that are clocking on to what's happening at Chelsea, yeah? We know the truth. I know the truth. You lot know the truth. Yeah, so make sure you smash that like button, subscribe and all that jazz. The bottom line is this. It's no coincidence that they put this article out today. After the whole thing, Gary Neville's come out about him going in that dressing room. Everyone's going about them in and out of the dressing room. You don't go in and out the dressing room. I don't give a fuck if you bought the club. I don't give a shit. It's, it's disruptive to the team, to the players. They're young players. You bought kindergarten FC, data FC model. And let's listen to this nonsense. They talk about, they trust the data, they've got every bit of confidence in the data, and that the data is going to come good, and they're going to get all their gyms are going to come good. Let's have it fucking right, yeah? Well, Mason Minerals Mount, the player you forced out, Paul Carrot Eaton Merchant Win Stanley, yeah? He had the best fucking data at Chelsea Football Club in the entire squad, so that's a load of waffle, man. The only data they're interested in is kindergarten Epstein FC fucking model, yeah? That's all they care about, their data. And that is it, bruv, all right? We say it as it is. I don't give a fuck, man. Like, the narratives that are being put out there, wishy-washy flip-floppers, bruv. You've got people like Goldfish and Felix the Cat and bringing up all this fucking nonsense podcast and these false narratives. And let's have it right. I'm waiting for 30 GA. 29 GA in all other comps. One goal against Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. That's 30 GA, you melts. You're saying he didn't get 30 GA. Of course he got 30 GA, bruv. 30 GA out of position. What player in our entire squad right now is going to give us those fucking minerals? And let's have it right. Mason Mount's been out for almost seven to eight weeks. Comes back in against a Premier League team, all right, straight in the lineup with no run-up in any minutes, and he fucking balls that first half. And he get bags and assists and creates three big chances. We can't even create fuck all, man. We've been struggling since the start of the season to create, bruv. All right? And you lot sold this player. You forced him out. And everyone fucking well knows it. JT, our captain leader legend, knows it. I know it. The Minnows Mounts know it. Everyone knows it. People at Cobham know it. All the proper Chelsea that really know behind the scenes know it. Everyone else, you're all being fucking glutton for punishment from the Baron Envelope Matrix that has got you and done you like kippers. And it will continue to do you like kippers. And that's the reality, bruv. This is, this is the truth I'm talking. I'm not waffling here. This is real talk. Um, and they brought out that article on Don Roman. It's a disgrace. He never went in the dressing room every fucking game. What are we doing here, man? He came down as John Obi Mikel, who comes out and speaks. He also said, Chelsea have to build around Mount, have to keep Mount. This is ridiculous. Frank LeBeouf is even coming out and landing minerals. Yeah, you've got all these other all these other guys, Jody Morris landing minerals. Everyone man's landing minerals. Even Frank Lampard landing minerals. Everyone lands the minerals that know. So we got to trust what? Steve Sidwell, are you fucking having me on? Are you joking me right now? That's how deep that, this is how far they reach. Let me smoke that for you, Siri Merchant, yeah? Let me smoke that for you, Ted Lasso Boli, yeah? You think you can fool us, that you didn't fucking set that up, that narrative to make it look all right, that you lot can go in that dressing rooms. You're a long way from Starbucks, mate, Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, let's have it right. That is the narrative. That's the true narrative. You force that. You put it out. Narrative setting to make everyone go, oh, Roman did it. Roman, no, he fucking well didn't. John Obi Mikel, many players come out. He landed his chopper when he wanted to set the gaffer. He went in dressing rooms when it was really bad. Really bad. He went in dressing rooms. All right. And when we won trophies, that's it. Not even the Glazers, bruv. They don't give a fuck, man. They say they back the gaffer. They spend the money. All right. They cream them. They cream the club. But not even they have done what these owners have done. Nowhere near it, bruv. Absolutely nowhere near it. So here we are sitting here going, well, hold on a minute. They don't even attend games. They don't go in the dressing room. Even if she don't go in the dressing room. So why is it all right for these owners to go in the dressing room? This is my point. This is exactly what I'm saying. It's unnecessary, all right? It's egotistical. It's big bollocks I am. You think you're 
Pablo Escobar fucking Siri merchant, all right? You're running like a little toddler away from a little girl because she wanted to land the minerals to say, what are you doing? Because she said, what are you doing at our club? What are you doing? Yeah? What are you doing? No one had the minerals to come out and actually land it and say it. I didn't even speak on this. It's true. A little girl could run up, come after him. He got shook, bruv. He run into his fucking little unbulletproof limousine, not. Not a limousine, a little fucking seven-seater, is it? Not like Don Robin, bruv, yeah? And Ted Lassaboli hiding, bruv, in his rat tunnel, let's have it right, or somewhere else, probably in Mykonos, having a wonderful meal and great food and all this jazz, yeah? Well, listen, we eat you up on the Minnows FC because you can't fool us on here. And this is the facts of the matter, bruv. Let's drink it in. Let's enjoy it, bruv. Smoke them all out, man. Every single one of them. Smoke them all because they're all fucking bought. They're all brown envelopes. Everyone in the game is a joke and no one's being real about it, bruv. Yeah? Let's shout out our Don Roman Abramovich. Yeah? Let's shout him out because he's the greatest owner in world football. And let's have it right. I hope, I really hope that he comes back and buys our football club in 10 years and fucking muds these guys and we go on domination, bruv, because he will land the minerals. He's got money. He don't give a fuck. These guys are penny pinching, bruv. Let's have it right. They are penny pinching at our football club. They spent and blown a billion, and we're, we will. We look a state, and then you got all the players coming out with a PR like Cole Palmer. You need time. We need to adapt. All this jazz, bruv. I mean, we've heard it all the time, man. It's trust the process. It's a patience. No one's patient. The Premier League ain't patient. The Premier League ain't kind. If we do not get Champions League, that's another season, and we're getting Paul Merson coming out with the facts and the minerals again because he does talk some sense. He's saying that Enzo, you know, he's one of them players, World Cup winner. If he's not in the Champions League, he's going to want out, bruv. So is Rhys James with Real Madrid and all these players. So here we are sitting here. Let's see what happens. But I'm telling you now, we're a long way from fucking top five. We are a long way from top eight. We are a long way from 10th at this moment in time. And if we carry on like this with the inconsistency and the poor backbone and poor core in our team, and that's the reality. It's not saying I don't rate some of the players. I do rate some of the players. I think some of them are potential and talent. And Cole Palmer was probably the best player on the pitch, even though he was inconsistent. I thought uh, Jackson was all right. He wasn't the greatest, greatest player on the pitch, but he got the goal, fair play to him. Should have had another chance. Um, Mudrick's very low in confidence. You can see that. Um, Levi Colwill, he looks all right. Uh, Disarcy, very sceptical with Disarcy. Very sceptical with Sanchez, who's a second, third choice from Seagull Merchants, and he's our first team goalkeeper. Tells you everything you need to know. And don't give me all this waffle about Ozzyman, bruv. Ozzyman, 100, 100 plus million for Ozzyman, or maybe not, maybe a little bit less, 80 million from Napoli, because they're disgusting. They're a disgrace to a football club. Racial fucking posts. Yeah, let's have it right. He should want that immediately. I, I wouldn't want to stay at that football club. It's disgusting. Why would you? even do that. He won you the Serie A, bruv, with all his goals. I mean, what the fuck's going on in the game? The game's dead, bruv. It's soulless. It's gone. It's fucked. Morals are gone. We know in Italy the morals all fucked up. We know that. But, I mean, fuck me. The, the actual club posting it themselves. Let's speak on that because that is a dis disgrace, bruv. Absolute disgrace. We, we do, we, no one should tolerate that. Racism out of football. Get it out. Get it in the bin. Um, and uh, I, I don't blame Ozzyman for wanting to leave. But really, if Real Madrid come in for him, he's going to Real Madrid, bruv. Let's have it right. He's not coming to Chelsea, especially if we don't get Champions League football. Simple as that, bruv. And Ivan Tony, Ivan Tony, he'll go Arsenal Football Club. Arsenal will buy Ivan Tony. Yeah. And obviously, old Lee Gunner, he loves Ivan Tony. And they probably will get him, bruv. They probably will get him. Yeah. Um, we're in a shit show. I don't think people understand it. Um, they think we've covered up a win. Everyone goes, can't you enjoy the win? Listen, look at the manner in which we won. The manner in which we won was poor. We scraped it, bruv. We should have lost that game. That's the reality. We should have lost that game. We didn't. We won when we should have lost. I like that. But it's not enough. You know, maybe it gives a little bit of confidence. The real game's against Fulham on Monday. And then, obviously, we go into the horrible fixtures against all the teams. Let's have it right, man. We've sold, we've sold Champions League winners, all right, to bring us inexperienced and unproven players because of these clowns. And now these clowns are going in that dressing rooms. They need to stay the fuck out of the dressing room. Simple words, bruv. Stay out. You don't need to go in there. What for? To give a pat on the back for beating fucking Brighton and Carabao Cup, the B team, C team Brighton. Is that what we're doing? Is that the levels? Where is that standards in the fucking mud? They're a joke, man. No one cares what they say. Do you think the players look at them? Listen, let's have it right. When Roman went to the dressing room, everyone feared Roman. These lot don't fear these guys. These guys are laughing at him. Sterling last season in the dressing room, Ted Lasso Bailey, you should score me goals. I paid good money for you. Why are you not scoring? He laughed and went in the fucking showers, bruv. So you don't give a shit, man. 
You don't care, man. These guys are clowns, bruv. Everyone knows they're clowns. No one respects them in the game. And that's the reality, man. That is reality. And they've got these fucking journos putting out nonsense articles, blind about Roman Abramovich and what he's, he used to do. And the last five to six years, the guy wasn't even allowed in the fucking country. So what are we talking about getting that dressing room? You fucking idiots. Wrong ones, bruv. Absolutely wrong ones in the game. Let's have it right. Big up to Jamie, bruv. Uh, let's put Jamie's comment up. Um, I can't fucking see it, bruv. Hold on a minute. It says, uh, I join the agenda on TT's Unreal. They uh, they blame blame him for us. Our scoring problem, call him a terrorist. They said, told you so when he started slow at buying. Now that he is an elite number nine, look at them and cook. Listen, let's have it right. They all wanted Tuchel out, these fucking idiots. They all wanted Tuchel out of our football club. The moment Tuchel left our football club is the moment our club declined massively. The ambition, the structure, an elite gaffer. We don't have that. An elite gaffer cannot work with this model. And as long as everyone understands that, we're finished, bruv. We ain't, we ain't having no elite gaffer. Look at Luis Enrique at the moment. Luis Enrique's laying the damn minerals, bruv. Laying the damn minerals. Uh, this one says, uh, what does it say? Uh, Johnny, how can we spend one billion just to rely on Nkunku? Also, pre-season tax is an issue and the injury he has uh, restricts joint mobility and flexibility. Um, listen, um, he's. we don't even know if he's going to come back the same player. We don't even know if he's going to come back the same player with the knee injury. This is a problem at Chelsea now. This is a problem. Uh, we've got injuries galore. We don't even know what Reese James is going to be like. Now, our vice captain Ben Chilwell, who everyone's got a fucking agenda against, you need to fuck off and back off Ben Ben Chilwell because he's our experience. He's our vice captain. He's a baller. He's one of the best left backs in the Premier League. All right, and you lot are wanting him out and thinking Brillo Pad's better than him. You're a fucking joke, bruv, in the game. Honestly, Brillo Pad got done. All right, he had some good moments, but let's have it right. Nowhere near Chilwell, bruv. Nowhere near attacking wise. Nowhere near defensively, bruv. And it is what it is. And let's not forget. Cucurella, yeah, he wants out of the football club. So I don't know why you're twerking, bruv, all your little stands. And you stands twerking for Enzo. Enzo, bruv, he was shocking when he came on. We know that. He's having a tough time. I think he's rejecting. He's he's um, he's actually rethinking about what he's made, his decision he's made. He's, he's obviously very, very disappointed with everything that's going on at the football club because they all know what's going on behind the scenes. It's clear as day. If Enzo Fernandez gets a big offer, he will do what he did to Benfica. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then fuck off and go to another club like uh, Chelsea. Um, Enzo Fernandez, listen, everyone's having the same old uh, Kai Havertz debate. Is he an eight? Is he a six? Is he a 10? He's not a 10. Pochettino's come out and said he's not a 10. So, well, what is he then? He's an eight. He's an eight. But an eight that doesn't give you enough goals. And so far, hasn't got you enough assists. Uh, and Mason Mount's got more assists. And yes, Enzo's got a goal more than Mason Mount, but Enzo's played way more minutes than Mason Mount. Ooh, uncomfortable fucking conversations for you little gender merchants. And funny enough, we'll bring it up today as some melt wants to bring up about fucking Mason Mount, what a wavy quality little player he was um, in COVID. Well, uh, that compilation that I retweeted uh, quote tweeted, is him with all his goals, bruv, in all seasons. And he got 30 GA in that, that season before our last season. Everyone goes, last season was shit. Well, everyone was shit. The whole team was shit. Went through four gaffers, or three major gaffers anyway. Uh, and everyone knows the situation, bruv. But Tommy T had lots of situations. He had sanctions, injuries, the cement-booted rat. He had Rudiger, Christensen. He had both his wing-backs out. Um, he had his, his private life. And he still got top four. And he still fucking got us into a quarterfinal Champions League and he still land the minerals. And that's in the difference between an elite gaffer who's allowed to run the football team like Roman allowed him to run the football team, didn't get involved, didn't meddle like these clowns. So don't you ever fucking compare, all right, you rats. Roman Abramovich to these fucking clowns to justify these clowns going in the dressing room. You're a disgrace, man, yeah? And I'll smoke you to the fucking moon, bruv. You understand me? All right, let's go to this one. Um, this one says, Mudrick has to play from now on three good games um, in a row and he had to help for overlapping Chile. Our attack looked better, uh, but ball retention is an issue. Ball retention shit show. I mean, Cole Palmer's ball retention wasn't always there. Jackson, definitely not there. Um, who's the other guy? Matson, I thought, did all right, but he was still not great. Um, but obviously the goal was a lovely goal. 
and that was a moment of brilliance, fair play, and it was a nice goal. But, you know, you got, you got we got away with it against Brighton. The bottom line is, I've always said it, why can't you play Chilwell and Mudrick together because of the overlaps? Because Ben Chilwell is better left back than fucking Levi Carwell. And that's facts. But... The gaffer's adamant, bruv. Um, I think when you play Chilwell and Mudrick, that does work. All this myth that it doesn't work and that uh, Chilwell's competing with Mudrick for the left wing role is all just, it's just basically Pochettino saying, I need players. And today he's come out and says, I'm working, I'm, I'm on the case of, I'm in the, I'm, I'm in the talks with the, the so-called uh, clowns and the directors, these so-called sporting directors that are fucking jokes. Um, that have ruined our football club as well and being responsible with their shit advisories. Um, he's working with them. I don't believe it for one second. I don't fucking believe it. If this doesn't change and the results don't change, we are looking uh, at madness right now, bruv, this season. And that's the reality. But these are facts, Jamie. These are facts, bruv. These are absolute facts. Um, Replica says, uh, Twitter clowns in spaces wishing injury on Chile. Listen, they're not true supporters. They're fucking plastics. Let's have it right. Um, they're a disgrace in the game. Um, don't listen to spaces. Log out of these spaces. Don't listen to them, man. Don't listen to when you hear stuff like that. That's the agenda. They were saying that on Mason Mount, saying it on Kai Havertz. Listen, you fucking idiot. How much better are we without Mason Mount? Tell me. Tell me. The guy's fucking levels above all the other players we've got, man. Levels. All right? And he's going to ball out. And I know it. I know it. There's nothing you can say to me. Don't put compilations out now. You were feeding the gender on him, all right, all throughout his entire career at Chelsea, where he landed minerals and he won fucking that Champions League for us, all right, and you fed an agenda and now you want to go, oh, what a player he was because you know the quality and the standards have dropped. Now, I'm not going to diss Conor Gallagher because I do like Conor, but let's have it right. Conor would never have got into that last team we had under Tuchel. Very only because of injuries but as a squad player. But he'd never be a regular starter, bruv. Because now Gallagher looks like he's got to play. He's such a level player because our levels as a whole squad and a team have been dropped so low. And we spent a billion, bruv. Culture's been... Uh, cancel culture at our football club. It stems from the owners. They have implemented the cancer culture at Chelsea Football Club. And this is the real fucking minerals landing, bruv. These are facts, bruv. Yeah, I'm not even joking. Um, big up to um, RX... He says, you were right, Johnny. Our owners are garbage. Um, we are a mid-table team. Um, our fans behaving um, as Brighton, our rivals, is our rivals. We are so down. And this is the thing. Like, yeah, we, I, I, I do banter with Smoke the Seagull, Merchant Pat. But the bottom line is this. These owners brought this rivalry. These owners are fucking handing money to Brighton. Brighton are farming Chelsea. Do you understand me? Brighton FC, the Seagulls are farming to Chelsea. That's how far we've capitulated as a fucking club, bro. It's, it's just embarrassing. It's absolutely embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. All right. Let's have a look here. It's very difficult, guys, to do it on my phone, but big up to everyone. Smash the piece of the like button. Smash the pieces of the like button. Um, listen, there's a lot of people that are starting to realise what's happening at Chelsea. But like I said to you last season, you're all fucking mocking me, trying to slander me, trying to mud me. You couldn't mud me if you tried, bruv. I land it everywhere I go. And when I speak, I speak with sincerity, with knowledge, and knowledge is power. And that's why the Minnows FC doesn't get bought. We're not in any circles, and we land it everywhere we go. Get the likes up. What are we doing here, bruv? Big up to Replica. You see, people get... It's a results-driven game, football. If you win games, everyone forgets about it. They don't care. But the reality is we are going to be so inconsistent this season because our team is inconsistent. Our team is unbalanced. It's not got enough experience. It's not got enough minerals in our team. Um, but there is some talent. Mudrick should be playing because there's no one fucking else to play on the left-hand side. We have... Listen, listen to what I'm saying to you. We don't have a backup to Mudrick. 
We've got Sterling and Nonny's not even getting minutes because I don't think, I've always said it, he's not good enough. Jackson, Brozier, come on. He looked decent, bruv. He caused a bit of a nuisance, but he needs to be bed in. And these are, these are, the, these are the reasons I'm saying is when you look at our squad, it's so weak, bruv. He's thin as you like. And we spent a billion, yeah? It's embarrassing, bruv. And the, the way we are playing football, the identity at, at Brighton, clear as day and that's the Zebri's identity with uh with a bit of Potter obviously Potter he's elevated Potter's uh uh foundations but what are we what's what's Potch doing really like I'm back in the gaffer but you lot all coming at the gaffer I don't come at the gaffer I blame the owners everything that happens at this football club is down to the ownership and their decisions and I stand by it minerals certified let's have it right yeah minerals certified um Jamie says, hold on, I can't fucking, I have to get it up. This is so annoying, bruv. Doing it like this. Um, all right, so it says, um, hi, Johnny, uh, I don't understand uh, the Enzo hype. How many shockers has he dropped without getting attacked yet, uh, criticised yet? When man had a poor game, he was crucified. Um, same way they back uh, Dr. Timberlands and ZH. And this is the thing, though, because they had an agenda on Mason Mount. No one's got an agenda on Enzo. I don't I don't want any agendas on players. Let's have it right. But we have to speak when they when they're when they're not they're not on it, bruv. And the reality is he's he's not on it, bruv. He's not on it, you know? Um, and this is what I'm saying. People come out and they slander Mason Mount. Um and now they're crying. They'll be crying. Why did we sell Mason Mount? They'll be fucking crying, bruv. I'm telling you now. Yeah. But they'll go with the narrative that um, he was he wanted to leave. Yeah. Win Stanley and Stuart Little are sheeps for Ted Lasso, Bowley, Siri Merchant. These are facts. Yeah. These are facts, bruv. Yeah. You all understand on the Minnows FC. Everyone gets it, bruv. Everyone gets it. Yeah. Big up the Blue Star. He knows. Uh, listen. Uh, big up the Neil. Big up Bitch Patriot, big up uh, uh, Hannah, big up Texas Blue, Cursor, all the Minerals FC Ultras. Big up to every single one of you, bruv, uh, live and locked in on the Minerals FC and supporting the channel. And, and, and as always, I say to you guys, yeah, um, we have to see how it goes. These are results, but the standards, the performance I look at is in the mud, bruv. We were, we were low blocking at home, bruv. That's how bad we were playing. We were low blocking at home, yeah? Apart from that moment of little brilliance, which you cannot rely on upon, it's the same old shit. We don't create, we don't work as a unit, as a team, and all this bullshit, we need a gel. Well, Thomas Tuchel landed from Lee's helicopter in Cobham, and straight away we had our density, and straight away we started competing. So, you tell me, that's because you got kids in this team, and Tuchel didn't have kids, he had experienced players. And that's the fucking difference. And when you lack experience, you can't get through games the way you expect to get through games. And that's where people are going to fall short. And it is what it is. Don't expect it. I don't expect anything this season. I've said it from day one. I've said it from day one, bud. Oh, this guy's, this guy's, this ain't no green screen, bruv. <laughs> Ah, you laughing, bruv. You're laughing. Um, all right, what we got here? Um, this is only Potch um, can save us from this uh, hope. Um, all these uh, Chelsea fans with big accounts blaming Potch. We are here because of our owners. We don't have a striker next game. This is the thing. We don't have a, a quality enough striker. We don't have um, enough quality generally um, and Poch has been set up to fail and I've said this he has been dealt a shit hand um, so this is why you can't blame the gaffer it's why you can't come at the gaffer because you can bring Klopp you can bring Pep and they can, they will still not get anything and like Pep said you can't win anything with kids so what are we doing here guys what are we doing here are we going to go with all this nonsense brown envelope talk or are we going to be real about it and use our own minds and understand what's happening at, uh, at Chelsea and how they dictate narratives, bruv? That's the way I look at it, guys. Yeah? That's the way I look at it. Yeah? Um, so it is what it is, guys. Do you know what I mean? Uh, make sure you smash the like button. Every single one of you smash the piece of the like button. Um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to Minnows FC. 
big up to everyone that's um, uh, supporting the channel. Um, and we see things that they'll never see on the Minerals FC. Let's have it right. Um, and I, I, honestly, guys, you know, you've got to keep spreading the narrative. You know, I think Pochettino's starting to get pissed off. I think he's starting to get, uh, he's getting agitated. He's proving to the owners, I need, I need something. I need something else. I need something in January. This is not enough. I'm not going to get top four. He's got, he's, he has flip-flopped. He's, he's spilled their whole PR about this is a process and a project. All the players are spitting the same narrative, this waffle, um, because they're kids and this and that. And then he's gone to, this is Chelsea. We have to, we, we're going to go for the Premier League. We can go for the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup this season. And then he goes to, well, this is not the Chelsea of last, um, last, uh, you know, the Champions League winning Chelsea last few, three, four years. Well, obviously we know that because it's been gutted out by these clowns. Let's have it right. Yeah. Been gutted out, bruv. Fucking hell, bruv. That fish is still there. That's a poisonous fish, yeah. You know what? They're sending poisonous fishes to, to, to distract the stream, bruv. What are we doing here, bruv? What are we doing here, bruv? Listen, Poch can't demand anything because Poch ain't got ain't got any say, guys. He's a coach, like he was at um at Spurs. He says, I'm not a manager, I'm I'm a coach. He has to do what he's told, guys. He has to do what he's told, and that's the, and that's the reality. As soon as you understand, as long as you understand that, um, then don't believe all this nonsense. Don't fucking believe it. Honestly, don't believe it. Yeah, he's a yes man. Exactly, bruv. Exactly. Yeah. What's this? About? Brian says, uh, Brother Johnny, the algorithm fucking with this stream. Um, a whole lot of YouTube ads. I don't know what's going on, guys. I don't know what's going on. But guys, please um, understand on the Minerals FC, we've been shadow banned. We've been attacked. We've been trying to be taken down. We've got everyone talking bad um, on, on the Minerals FC. I know it's getting a little bit dark here, so you can't even see my face. But I'll tell you what, you'll see this. Is that a bit right? Um, RK says, uh, the one billion scam, uh, we do not have um, a penalty taker, a set piece taker after spending one billion. How is this possible? These owners made us comp uh, competing with Palace and Brighton. And this is, this is, this is facts. This is absolute facts. Uh, let me get it up. This is absolute facts. Absolute fact. Um, they haven't addressed the right areas, the right priorities in our areas. And this is the problem we got because it's non-football brains making footballing decisions because you're not collaborating with a gaffer. You're not actually um, instilling a culture and identity because your culture and your identity, let's have it right, is the multi-club, farming, streamlined, beachheading, FC, Epstein FC model. That's the fucking identity at Chelsea, not the actual footballing identity and style of play and philosophy of a gaffer and buying the right profiles for, right, for, the, for the gaffer, for his team, for his formation, for the way he wants to play. And this is the problem we got in the Minnows FC, bro. It's the problem we got, uh, not in the Minnows FC. This is what we identify at the Minnows FC and we acknowledge, but it's the problem we got at Chelsea, bro, is that we do not have this. We do not have this. And that's the bottom line, bruv. Yeah? Listen, them bringing up about Roman today is to justify them going in the dressing room. I don't give a fuck what you tell me. It's uh, it's unacceptable. It's, it's not needed. So stay out of the dressing room or Siri Merchant, let's have it right, go and get your coaching badges. Yeah? Or we'll just continue to smoke you. You understand me? Um, man, man, Bruno and Enzo combined. I mean, listen, Bruno Fernandes has got five goals and four, no, sorry, four goals and five assists or something. He's done already. Mason Man's going to stat pad. They've got Amrabat now. 
um, next to Casemiro. Anthony's going to come back. Their strikers there. They're going to look healthy, guys. I'm telling you now, they'll be up there. Ten Hag, he's going to do it. He's going to. He will do stuff. And their supporters are coming at their gaffer when they should be really just protesting against the owners because it's the owners at the end of the day. That's what it all stems down to. The mentality, bruv. That's what it all stems down to. Let's see if we can get a bit a bit of light in here, bruv. There's no light, man. It's pitch black, bruv. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're by the we're by the coast here, bro. We're by the coast here, um, but yeah, I mean, look, um, Enzo and Mount in midfield would have been absolutely spot on, bro. Would have been delightful, but that's the that's the reality is it's not happening. Um, Casado, Enzo, Mount, that would have been the best the best uh, midfield for me personally. Yeah, and everyone knows it, bro. Yeah. Uh, well, Zoe says, no facts spoken from you, Johnny. Really? Is that so? I mean, and Kunku's not even in the fucking team. So what are we doing here, bruv? Yeah? Is no, what are we doing here? Bruv, no one, cursor, no one's throwing the fish back in the sea, bruv. It is here. Uh, let me see if I can... I won't do it, will it? Yeah, no one's putting that fish in there, bruv. <laughs> No one's putting that fish back in. They don't even want to go near it, bruv. Um, but let's have it right. I might have to duck out of here. I don't want to be around this nonsense. It's true, bruv. That's Siri merch. He's trying to come and fucking attack us. But we land it, bruv. We don't give a fuck about us a lot, bruv. We don't care, bruv. Um, but big up to everyone in here. Smash the piece of the like button. I'm sorry you can't see me. We've just got to deal with the silhouette of the Minnows FC. Do you know what I mean? Um, and um, let's have it right. Before we know it, bruv, we're chanting uh, Roman Bramovich, the GOAT himself, bruv, because he's he's the one. He's the most important one. We need to we need to make that, that loud and clear, bruv. Yeah, let's have it right. Um, but big up to everyone in here, guys. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, put your comments down below. Uh, David, I'll answer this. Tony or Ozzyman and Johnny. Um, listen, Tony's prem proven, but he comes with a lot of baggage. Um, and he's not he's not young, um, and I think he wants to go to Arsenal and play Champions League football. Let's have it. I think he even supports Arsenal. I don't even know if, if that, the rumours are true. Um, Osman for me fits the profile, but will he want to come to Chelsea? I think I'd go with Osman personally. I don't rate Tony as highly as everyone seems to rate him. Um, he's a finisher. He's Premier League proven, but he's not going to. I just think Osman, as Jose Mourinho said, he's like Didier Drogba. Um, and I think we need someone like that, a real predator, someone who's got those minerals, bruv. And he's won something. He's won the Serie A, but I'm always sceptical buying players from Serie A, the Pensioners League, as we know. But he, he looks young. He looks hungry. I, I would vote Ozzyman, guys. I would vote Ozzyman, bruv. Yeah. I did say that, Blue Star, we protest against the owners. No one listened to me last season. And I said it's, it's to protest against the model, not getting Potter out, Jellyfish Potter. It was about protesting to stop their model because it's their model. Once they spend the money, we are finished. They've spent a billion. They're trying to get investors, bruv. Bruv, I've flown out here to try and get them some Saudi money, bruv. Let's have it right. Um, and the Saudis don't want to deal with the clowns, bruv. So here we are. We're, we're, in, we're in a bit of a pickle at the minute. So it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. They're not going to change the model. Everyone knows it. And that's the reality. Uh, Johnny, I fear f what Ten Hag is building there, proper minerals. There's talk he wants Dilip. As well, he's a proper gaffer. He knows Mount's quality, um, and 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 this is this is facts. Um, I've always rated uh, Ten Hag, and I think people need to be patient. And you've got to be patient with 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 this gaffer. He's got an identity and philosophy, but you got little, you got these um, these so called, you know, these so called uh, platforms like the old rants and bants. He's got a major agenda on fucking Ten Hag. Uh, Mason Mount and all these players. You know, they do it for clicks, guys. They do it for clicks. 
instead of backing their fucking team and their gaffer and coming at the owners. But let's have it right. On the Minnows FC, we come at the, the stem, the root of the problem. And that's the owners at Chelsea Football Club. Um, and likewise, that's at Manchester United. So it is what it is. You know, we smoke on all of them, bruv. Respect to everyone. I've enjoyed having a cigar with you lot um, and landing the minerals. Um, and as always, we will be back, guys. Um, but big up to you. Big up, bitch patriot. Um, you know the deal, bruv. You know the deal. Um, and um, uh, respect and love to everyone out there. Stay healthy. Uh, keep landing your minerals everywhere you go. As always, uh, we see things they'll never see. Rest in peace, Chelsea old boys. Big up to all the Minnows FC Ultras. You can't see me. It's black to shit, bruv. But let's have it right. Um, respect to everyone. Up the Chels. Up the Minnows FC. And um, I will... Um, let me just... Oh, hold on. Big up to Jamie. Big up to Jamie. Um, he's a member for five months. Um, he's put here... Johnny, I think Poch can make us good. But he will uh, walk if the owners buy no experience. He's partial, a yes man, but not a complete yes man like Potter, which is why he calls out issues. Potter was a puppet. Correct. But he's still, he's still being dictated, guys. He knows the deal. Pochettino knows the deal. He knows what he signed up for. But maybe, and listen, the owners have got to change, bruv. The owners have got to change. They have to change. And if they don't change and don't stay out of football, either go and get your coaching badges or stay out of football. It is what it is. But big up to everyone in here. Respect to everyone. Up the Chels, up Mills FC. It's pitch black, bruv, out here. And we've got poisonous fishes lurking around. So I'm going to duck out. Up the Chels, up Mills FC. Make sure you put your comments down below. Respect to every single one of you. And let's go.